Tell me a story. So we have Elda Stiletto in the studio with us. If you're just tuning in, she played with the seminal punk rock band in the 70s called the Stilettos at CBGB's. Elda, what was the first gig you ever went to see? First gig? Oh, well, I used to go to see my brothers all the time, but my favorite first gig was I went to see that band that did the song, uh, The Barbarians. Are you a girl? Are you a boy or are you a girl? And the drummer had a, he screwed his drumstick into his hook because he was missing the hand and he was dressed like a pirate. And I was like, because my brother was opening for them, I was like in the front seat and I was like, ah, and that was so cool. It was really good. Uh, anyway, I just wanted to say we are doing something very experimental here because Rob is interviewing me for LPP, and I'm interviewing him for Creatives MX, which is going to be uh, aired on Creatives MX website. How did you become in, interested in becoming a singer? I didn't like anybody else doing my words. I could never find the guy. I could never find the guy that could pull it off. I was never happy with other people's performances. Uh huh. But being in front like that, it's not really my bag. What do you like the best? I would rather be the quiet guy playing bass. Uh huh. But I'm not really that great of a musician because I'm mostly I'm a word guy, I'm a writer. Okay, so. Tell me about, you know, it was really interesting in the 90s that this whole goth scene came out of Palinville and ended up in CBGB's. How did that happen? In the 90s, there were a lot of bands here in town. It became a little kind of competitive, I would think. It wasn't just crappy cover bands. I mean, these guys were doing original sets and the sets were, were really better than average. They were good bands. And you were well received at CBGB's. They loved it, right? I had the Japanese businessmen swinging from the rafters in that joint. <laughs> There's like 21 of them in the back of the room, and a little guy runs. Now I'm not a very big guy. Little guy runs up to me, and he uh, he's got his tie tied around his like headband, like Jimi Hendrix, and he looks up at me and he goes, "Ah, super creeps," because <laughs> I was playing as the super creeps. So Rob, where do you find your music for the radio show? <laughs> Those are secrets we don't tell. <laughs> we don't tell them secrets. <laughs> okay. No, those are secrets. Uh-huh.